It is time for the highs and lows of the week. Our first low goes to that kid at school who thinks it's a funny prank to pull the fire alarm. It's not, but it happened again this week, and the suspect was apprehended after a very brief investigation. This is Birdie the Golden Retriever, an otherwise very good girl, who was so excited to arrive at a doggy daycare in Grimes, Iowa, that she jumped up and pulled the fire alarm with her paw. Just couldn't help herself. The staff at Dogwoods Lodge couldn't quite figure out what tripped the alarm, but as the fire department checked out the building, a review of this security footage revealed Birdie to be the culprit, and she acted alone. The owner of Dogwood says the three-year-old Golden has a lot of energy, to put it mildly, and always plays in the crazy room, not over in the lazy room. The daycare posted a photo of Birdie with a sign around her neck that reads, Dear Grimes Fire Department, I'm sorry I pulled the fire alarm today. Sincerely, Birdie. You're forgiven, Birdie. We love you. Our next high goes to a legend of Saturday Night Live, bringing one of the show's most famous sketches out into the real world. Let us first travel back to SNL in April of 2000, where Will Ferrell's character is playing his cowbell aggressively for music producer Bruce Dickinson, played by Christopher Walken. I'll be honest, fellas, it was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. You see, Bruce has a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Well, more than two decades later, Farrell is finding new ways to bring us more cowbell. Yeah, go get it, Will. Farrell walked out on stage the other night at a live charity benefit concert in San Diego where his son Magnus was performing with his band, surprising the crowd and making one Bruce Dickinson very proud. I love that man. Our final low goes to what you get when a vacuum company decides to get into the headphones business. Dyson, known for its cutting-edge vacuum cleaners, is set to release a pair of headphones called the Dyson Zone that, for some reason, connected to an air-purifying mask that filters out pollution. The price tag, you ready for this, for the headphone mask contraption? $949. The look and the price made the new Dyson product the source of some mockery online this week, with many calling it the Bane Mask, after the terrifying Batman villain. Maybe just keep making those see-through vacuums that are so cool and let the gang over at Beats handle the headphones. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.